Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. But let me touch on the men, because there's a lot of men out here, and it's important for the men to what? Get their minds right so they can teach their communities so we can stop this madness going on. Because I'm pretty sure the Chicago Police Department will appreciate if more black men in the neighborhood step up and stop and help stop the violence in our community. Don't you agree, sir? Would you be happy about that? Me too. I will be happy about that too. So let's stay in Titus. Give me verse 6. Titus chapter 2, verse 6. This is the book of Titus chapter 2, verse 6. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. So guess what? A lot of the crime happened in our neighborhoods because the young men are high out of their minds. They're drunk and high. Bring it out. They're drunk and high. These drugs are making them crazy. Right. The Bible says that we are not supposed to be high. It says sober-minded. You understand? Read. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. We're supposed to have good works. Meaning what? We're not supposed to be out here spinning the block. We're not supposed to be out here carjacking. Right. The Bible has all the solutions to the problems in the black community. The Bible has all the solutions to the problems in the black community. Why is not the pastors out here in the Christian church telling you this? That's right. Why is it that you can only go on Sunday to hear this? And nine times out of ten, they're not saying this. They're not reading Titus chapter 2, verse 6. Teach. What's your name again, bro? Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. So, I asked the question. What are we going, what solutions to stop the violence in the black community? Like I said, we need to make sure they make sure they Okay, all praises. Now look, check this out. Let me finish reading Titus 2 on how the men are supposed to conduct themselves. Read on. In doctrine, showing a corruptiveness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is that is of a contra contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing. Give me first Kings two and two. So in order for our community to be healed, the black man has to stand up. The black man has to stop being high. The black man has to stop beating on his woman, cheating on his woman. He has to marry his woman, take care of his woman, take care of the children. The black man has to do that. I mean, give the Chicago Police Department a break. Y'all so bad out here that they gotta work overtime. They can't even get, they, they furlough days get taken away. Right. They can't even invent, they can't even enjoy a, 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 a vacation. Why? Because y'all want to keep on spinning the block. Y'all not teaching your children to not be thugs on the block. That's right. Read that. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2, verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. So we're supposed to go all the way, all the earth. Bring it out. Because we are on the four corners of the earth. We're everywhere. We're supposed to go everywhere and do what? Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. How do you show yourself a man, bro? Bro, excuse me, sir. How you show yourself a man? Say it again. How do you show yourself to be a man? You ask a question. Give us the answer, That's a hard question, man. I mean, I just. Okay, so let me ask you this. How you show yourself to be a player? You feel me? So how do you show yourself to be a man? What's your name, by the way, bro? My name Cam. My name Jose Cam. Not, it's a pleasure talking with you, bro. So how do you show yourself to be a man? Keep my words. Try to take care of my business. Okay. Keep your word. Take, take care of my business. business. Protect my family. Protect your family. Okay. That's what's up. Those three things you said is all in the Bible. It's all in the Bible. Let me show you what else is in the Bible too. Do you believe in the Bible? Some stuff that's in it. Some stuff that's in like what? Like, like what? Like, what's well, in it, it that you tamper with? Tamper with? Tamper with. Okay, so what was tamper with? Other agendas. 
Like what? What, what? what was tampered with? Uh, some of the, um, some of the, some of the, um, you can, uh, shit, I don't want to put it like that. Uh, like, like, like the, the reason why I ask you that, because I hear that a lot. A lot of times, we say that because somebody else said it. We didn't actually take the time out to examine the Bible ourselves to see if what other people said was true or not. Because I heard that and I had to research myself. I found out what you said is not actually true. Right. Everything in this Bible, there is no flaws to it. That's right. The problem That's is, right. is this. Come here. Let me show you. The problem is, is that we read the Bible with his eyes. Bring it out. And with his mindset. We don't know. We think he wrote this Bible. We think that everybody in this Bible is them. When it's contrary, give me uh, give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm going to prove it to you. And then we're going to go back to that scripture that I just told you. Because I'm going to show you that the Bible is the blackest book on earth. The Bible is your book. Your forefathers wrote it. A deep thing about what I'm about to say, you wrote the Bible. You. You wrote this. I'm going to prove it to you. Read that. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Judah is in mourning. We are from the tribe of Judah. If you call your, or subscribe yourself to be a black American, God calls you from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. Right. Judah is in mourning. When you turn on the TV, how many of our mothers and fathers is crying because their sons got killed? You know what I'm saying? We're in mourning because we are low society. We get done it wrong. The president of the United States, his son is a pedophile, a sex addict. But R. Kelly get 30 years. Why is it Joe Biden's son get 30 years? You know what I'm saying? So we are in mourning. Judah mourning. Read on. And the gates thereof language. The gates means our leadership. Our leadership. These politicians, these Christian pastors, they language meaning they ain't about nothing. Right. They ain't really trying to help our cause in the in the neighborhood why because they being fed under the table to keep the carnage going bring it out to keep us on the bottom that's why the bible says judah is mourning read on they are black they are what black they are what black so the jews are black the jews are black bring so go back out. to that scripture read that real quick this is the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 12. so i want to i want you to see that Everything that you was told about the Bible without doing your research was a lie, bro. I heard the same thing. I had to find out for myself. So I want to know if this, if, if there's a fallacy with this. If there's something wrong with what I'm about to read now. Read. Thou shall not kill. Is there something wrong with that? Read it again. Thou shall not kill. So if we teach our youth, thou shall not kill, that the Bible belongs to them and that this is an instruction manual so that you can walk uprightly on this earth so God can continuously work with you. Don't you think they'll listen? They'll listen. They'll be, but what they listen to is, because all our youngsters, they want to be drill artists. That's right. Little dirt is they got. That's right. You feel me? King Louie and them. FBG, them boys. You know what I'm saying? They, all they think about is what? Man, look, I'm going I'm I'm to listen to uh, Little, little Dirt. Uh, uh, what's the Herbio Herb, Herbo G G Herbo? That's all they care about. Getting the block, spinning the Glock, blah, 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 blah. garbage. Right. But God says, What thou shalt not kill bars? These are real bars. That's right. This is what we were supposed to be spitting Bring it over up. a melody. Thou shalt not kill. Because if you do that, bro, you have a chance to live. You won't kill me, you won't kill my children. Bruh, I love you. I don't want you getting high out of your mind off some Xanax. You leaning and you mixing it with cognac and weed, Jeez. with fentanyl, and now you crazy as hell, and you shoot me and my kids. Bring it up. I don't want that. So I'm going to teach yeah. this. Read it again. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. So there's nothing wrong with this Bible. The problem is, is that we learned it from this guy, right. the devil. That's Give right. me Revelations 1. Because Christ said, look, Christ said something very profound, bro. He said, look, what you see recorded. Give me verse chapter 1, verse 3. 
This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. So God said, blessed is he that read. Instead of listening to what someone else say, that the Bible is false, there's some things that ain't right with it, read it for yourself so you could be blessed. That's what God says. He says what? Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So this is what Christ said. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ said, look, once you read the Bible, you're going to realize that this guy's a liar. His hairs and his hairs were white like wool. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason why Christ's eyes was red, do you drink, bro? What you drink? Tequila? Sometimes when you drink, don't the, why do your eyes turn a little red? Christ drank wine. That's how you know he us. He drank wine. His first miracle was turning water to wine because he was at a wedding feast. He was like, hold on, man. Y'all at a wedding feast and ain't no wine here? What? The black Messiah drank. Read. Give me that in Exodus. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes shall be red with wine. That's why it says his eyes was as red as a flame of fire. Go back to the uh, Revelation. Read. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. So look, do you wear sandals? All right, so Christ was on the island of... Well, John the Revelator was on the island of Patmos. Christ came to visit him. John the Revelator seen Christ. He saw his head and his beard were white and woolly. Yeah, woolly and white hair. Because we got woolly hair. Then he looked down at his feet and saw the color of his feet. Look what the color of his feet was. As if they burned in a furnace. Read it again. As if they burned in a furnace. And his feet like unto fine brass. So what is the color of brass? Brown. Like a penny. That's right. His feet was like unto fine brass. But he was a different shade of brown. Right. He was going to tell you what type of shade of brown he was. Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So like my man over here, he on the grill right now. He's on the grill. I don't know what he got on the grill, but he's on the grill. Whatever he got on the grill, at some point, it's going to turn from brown to dark, as if it burned That's in the right. furnace, and it's going to be black. So Christ had woolly hair like all of our people do, and he was dark-skinned. Not just your color, brass, but darker. Darker than me and you. So if this guy is in the Bible, and you heard from someone else, like I heard, that the Bible is... I don't believe in everything in it. How could a man walk on water? Well, how did the pyramids get built? They still trying to figure that out. But you could go in Egypt and see the pyramids. So it's not too far-fetched to believe that a man walked on water. Because how in the heck did the pyramids get built? Right. You understand what I'm saying? So Jesus said what? Read it again from the top. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So the son of man was a dark-skinned man just like you. That's right. He was from the tribe of Judah. We read earlier in Jeremiah 14, 2, that the Judahs, the tribe of Judah, were black men. So Christ was from the tribe of Judah. We from the tribe of Judah. What does that mean? That means that we are descendants of Jesus Christ. That's our big brother. So, the people who told you that this is false, it's the reason why they say that because they don't want you to be great. Give me that in uh, Psalms 82. Because God says, look, my son who I sent to be a sacrifice, to make sure that I don't kill the rest of y'all, because God is a holy God. He's a holy God. He has to punish you for your bad behavior. Just so he won't punish you for your bad behavior, he's what? He said to his son, look, I'm going to make him be a punishment so I don't have to kill you. Give you an opportunity to come into the fold so you could become this again. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are God. So God wants you to be what? 
Ye are God. God wants you to come back to being a God on this earth. Because right now we ain't that. We weak, low in stature. We being ruled by this man. He rules us. He tells us where we could go. He makes sure the woman gets raised up over us. We have to be subjected to their rules. We can't do nothing without him. We can't buy no food, water, clothing unless we go to him. That's our daddy. God wants us to have rulership again. You understand? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.